What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, General Africa, coming back at you with another video. Um, first off, just want to let you guys um, know that I'm still putting out videos, um, you know, still doing my thing, but it's been a little hectic, a little chaotic out here, you know. I'm in the process of moving with my brother and some friends to the north side, so it's just, you know, I haven't had as much time to really upload like I'd like, but I have some time today. Um, first off, shout out to the Brothers Ticket Town, 1LVZ, and all the other guys out there that have been going hard and pointing out the blatant hypocrisies, double standards, racism, white supremacy that's taking place in this country. Not only in regards to Colin Kaepernick, but in regards to police brutality and the bullshit that racists spew constantly trying to undermine what black people are doing you know and we read right through it uh, i just saw this headline for yahoo article talking about how 50 percent of americans oppose colin kaepernick now those are just who oppose you know and that doesn't necessarily mean that the other 50 percent support you know because some could be on the fence about it right but 50 percent oppose you know are any of you guys surprised? Are any of you guys surprised? And that's why I'm, I uh, support so much what um, Town Biz has talked about in regards to subscribers. Um, like he said, and like he's continued to say, you know, I probably have some white subscribers too. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But when I'm talking about the issues that my community face, I don't give a damn about what what you think and the reason why is if white people and other races with everything that black people are facing in this country if they really cared they would be rioting in the streets right now we black people wouldn't even need to do anything if they really cared but they don't now Colin Kaepernick and his supporters have so eloquently stated time and time again why they're sitting down why they're protesting the national anthem you know the obvious reasons um the police brutality and the and the uh the blatant murders of unarmed black people in this country and the fact that the national anthem wasn't even meant for black people but you see these races these races and there's a lot of them there's a lot of them they always try and change the argument. They always try to create a straw man. Oh, the troops. Oh, this. Oh, that. Nobody's talking about all police. But there's a, a overarching problem when it comes to police and their methods and how they target black people. That's a fact. The statistics are out there. But they try and make it a black people versus the police. Colin versus the police. You know, black people versus the armed forces. Colin Kaepernick against the armed forces. Excuse me. And I saw that when I was watching the Bears game. John Fox talking about how his grandpa or something served in World War II or something. And how, you know, look at the stadium we're playing in. This is Soldier Field. I think my players know how I feel about it. So now you're trying to pressure your players into not um, protesting. Why? Because it's called Soldier Field? Because your fucking grandpa, who I don't give a shit and nobody cares about except yourself, and, the, and your other good old boys fought in the military. How many black people have fought in the military, military since the Revolutionary War and every war since? But see, they create these straw mans, man. And it's so easy to see through. And that's why, like I said before, I'm for my people. I'm done fighting other people's battles. See, black people want to fight for everybody else, but we when it comes to us, we're divided. So you know what? I'm focusing on my people because apparently when we try to stand up for ourselves, it's always a problem. Oh, it's not the right time. Oh, it's this, oh, it's that. Well, fuck you. If I want, if I choose to sit down, which I will, I'm never singing a uh, national anthem or whatever it is, Pledge of Allegiance, national anthem, I don't care. I'm never standing for it again. I'm never singing it. And if anybody has a problem with it, they can, they can come uh, they can come at me and see what happens. That's just straight up. That's just straight up. 
So, you know, like I said, I'm done fighting other people's battles because rarely do I ever see other people fighting for us. Rarely. We can say, look, we're getting killed. Our, 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 our communities, our, uh, our nutrition wastelands, you know, our schools are, are, you know, underfunded and understaffed. Um, please stop killing us. We got our hands up. You know, we're just protesting the police brutality. That's all we want to bring the end to. And it still doesn't matter. It's not the time. It's not the place. We're in Soldier Field. Well, guess what? Fuck you. And fuck this country too and everything this country stands for. We got all these people coming from different countries and they're able to assimilate into this culture and they're fine. Indians, Polacks, the Germans, Irish, Italians, everybody can just come in and move ahead of us, Arabs. But all of a sudden, oh well not all of a sudden, but while we're stuck in the in the in the bowels and the dredges of society. So you know what? I don't give a damn about you. I don't like like to, I'm sorry, it might be harsh. Actually I'm not sorry. I don't give a damn about John Bonet or John Renee Ramsey, whatever her damn name is. Because nobody cares about the little black girls getting killed. And that's straight up. So fuck you to all those, uh, all you white supremacists and racists trying to undermine what we're doing. You ain't gonna stop us. I'm out.